praise the name of the lord god bless you everyone in jesus mighty name welcome to this prophetic platform if you're new here my name is samuel e molombe the man god uses and i am excited to bring the word of god to you today i'm excited to bring this timely prophetic word to you today in jesus precious name so it's been a while i dropped um a word i've been quite um busy i've had my hands full with some ministry engagements um over the last two weeks or three weeks i've been to the us i've been to uganda i have had several meetings back at home um i mean it's been just crazy but all through this period i've actually been having words that god has been speaking to me just keeping them um trusting the lord for a time that i can put it out to you and thank god for this opportunity to bring his word to you again i always look forward to um you know just still in those moments in between to be able to um, bring the word of god to you god bless you in jesus name so this is the month of july today is the first day of the month of july and i was seeking the face of the lord earlier today just asking him what he has in store for us um the second phase of the year and just asking him um what is his plan you see i always tell our friends and our people those who follow our ministry that you do not build expectations out of your head you build expectations within the parameters of the promises of god right when you study the word of god and you see the promises of god they form the basis of your expectation when scripture says the expectations of the writers will not be cut short it's not just everything that they want out of the blue like they just you just want something out of it must be within the framework of scripture god is committed to his word god is committed to his will god is committed to his word and his will over your life he's not committed to your wishful thinking the bible never said and god shall supply all your wishes according to according to his wishes in glory no god is committed to his word so when you begin to align your expectation with the word of god that's a recipe for miracles that's a recipe for supernatural wonders that's a recipe for like uncommon things they will just begin to happen easily and cheaply because you caught it so i went back to asking the lord what are you saying so that i can bring it to your people so it can be the basis the foundation of their expectation for the month of july and the lord gave me seven powerful prophetic blessings that i have shared on um the the prophetic prayer today and i'll share with you if um just in case you did not actually watch it so the lord says expect these seven things in the month of july and by the way july happens to be the seventh month of the year and the number seven is the number of um completion is a number of perfection is a number of fulfillment so when you see the number seven is talking about perfection and god is promising to perfect the things that he has begun to do in your life even this season number one i wrote it down number one is double portion god says expect a double portion release in this seven months expect a double portion release the bible says in joel chapter 2 and verse 23 that who amongst you saw this house in his previous state god says he will double the later the, the, the former rain and the later rain and he will give it all in this first month of the second half of the year that's what is in that scripture if you look at joel chapter 2 verse 23 you'll see it there so god is saying that you should expect a double portion in this season expect it expect a double portion expect to receive double of the things that he has promised so what you did not see in the beginning of the year the first half of the year you're like oh maybe it has come it, the, the, the first half of the year has passed and you have not yet received that god is saying expect a double he will give you the blessings you couldn't catch up with from the from january to june and also pour on you the blessings from july to december 
all in this second phase of the year and all in the month of July. God says, expect a double portion release. Hallelujah. God says, expect financial abundance. Now, family, no matter how religious you are, no matter how um, 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 uh, reserved you are, whatever it, whatever it is that you are, you are, we have the same, we, we agree on something. We need money to fulfill divine assignment. You need money to live. Jesus says, give to Caesar what is Caesar's and give to God what is God. As a matter of fact, 90% of us spend half of our lives looking for money. And I was excited when I saw this future in the, in the prophetic expectations for this month. God says, expect financial abundance. You cannot play with this prophetic word. You can't take it for granted. You can't just, ah, like, oh, it's nothing. It is everything. Expect financial abundance abundance in joel chapter 2 and verse 24 god says it right there joel chapter 2 and verse 24 i'd like to read that for you the bible says and the and the floors shall be full of wheat and the fat shall overflow with wine and oil talking about prosperity god is promising that your floor will be full of wheat you will have so much, so much financial abundance. And God says the third thing you should expect is restoration. It's from the book of Joel, chapter 2, verse 26. He says, And I, the Lord, will restore the years that the canker worm, the palmer worm, and the caterpillars have eaten. So God is saying that in this seventh month, you should expect to be restored. Yes, restoration of relationships, restoration of lost fortunes, restoration of lost gifts restoration of lost opportunities restoration of lost everything that has been lost um as i'm speaking this word i'm just having the scripture in my spirit light up that says the son of man came to seek and to save that which was lost whatever is lost in your life by the grace of god in this seven months expect to receive it in the name of jesus and the, the fifth one i love this one god says expect his divine presence Joel chapter 2 verse 27, expect his divine presence. God's presence will go with you. See, no matter where you are, don't even think for a second that you are going to be alone in this month. God is saying that you are not alone. You are not alone. He's there with you. God says, and lo, I will be with you always to the end of Time. You are in your car, you're driving, God is with you. You are in the, your bed, you're sleeping, God is with you. God is with you every step of the way. As a matter of fact, you will see confirmations of his divine presence this second half of the year even more than you have seen before in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. God says, expect blessings upon your family. Now, God is a family God. God is interested in your family, even as he is interested in you. God is interested in your loved ones. God is interested in your children. God says by extension, he's speaking to your children. He's speaking to your family. He's speaking to your spouse. You will have supernatural blessings in the name of Jesus. And the seventh one, God says, expect deliverance. So blessings is Joel chapter 2 verse 28 and deliverance is Joel chapter 2 verse 32. God says that he will bring deliverance to you. Some of you are suffering under the bondage of the, the devil. You are under darkness. I remember the scripture that says that darkness covers the earth and God's darkness covers the people. But God says that he will, he will deliver you from any form of darkness in the month of July in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. It's just beautiful to see the promises that God has for us. Now you can build expectation from the month on the month of July from this particular word that God says. I believe in the word of God. I believe so much that God will do what he says he will do. And I'm here to pray with you and to assure you of your how certain your miracle is this, this month. In the name of Jesus. Yes, you've been waiting and you didn't see this prophetic word by chance. You didn't see it by chance. This is God speaking to you. God is telling you that it is possible and you will see it come to pass. I declare the Lord bless you. I declare the Lord keep you. 
I pray that the Lord cause his face to shine on you and be gracious to you and give you peace in Jesus' name. Do you receive the word with gladness? I love you and shalom.